Hey everybody, it's Patty from Chatty Patty's Place and I have a fun Halloween craft project for you and I'm going to make some Halloween pens and all of the items that you see here were purchased at the dollar store so it's a fun and expensive um, project to work on. I have some googly eyeballs, I have some curling iridescent ribbon, I have some purple pumpkins, I have some witches hats, I also have some jack-o'-lanterns and some spiders. So we're gonna do a fun little project. I have some material that I picked up. It's a little swatch. I think I got like an eighth of a yard. And I have some um, floral tape to use. And I have my handy dandy hot glue gun. So this is a fun quick project, inexpensive project, fun for a rainy day, fun to give us gifts to teachers, um, trick or treaters, you know, whatever you wanna do. So, um, I just want to show you, these are the pens that I buy. I usually buy them in 10 packs at the dollar store. I like working with these pens because of the color of the pen and because of the flat top and bottom on it, so they're easy to work with. Um, just so you know, like when you want to cover up this part of the pen, uh, you want to make sure you are able to put the top of the pen on. And what I usually like to do is when I take my top off, if you can see that there's a darker area, kind of see right there. Um, it's a little darker in this area. I just want to go past this point. So I would just stop there and work from this back. Okay, so the witch's hats um, is what I'm going to do first. And if you can notice that it's hollow in the middle, well, I can't glue it on the top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some glue inside it and just secure my pen to it that way. So I'm just going to put some hot glue here inside the hat. Just on one side. Get that in there. And just let it heat up a bit and get that glue going inside. Sometimes it takes a while for the glue to come out. But once it gets going, it goes pretty well. Okay, so I'm just gluing, putting glue inside. Okay, here it comes. So, so get just a bunch of glue in there because you want the pen to stay okay so I got a bunch of glue in there and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna stick my pen in there right into the glue I'm just gonna hold it just hold it in there I mean it's already secure I just want to make sure it stays okay so now it's already secure see it's not going anywhere so now what I want to do is I can either use my floral tape or I cut out some pieces of material that I can glue onto the pen all right and we can wrap that around the pen you can also use um, any kind of um, any kind of ribbon really that you can just bring around the pen it's up to you um, maybe we can make it look like a little cape you know whatever whatever you want to do it's, it's your your design so you design it any way you want. So, um, I have this material that I that I got that I was gonna wrap around here that I thought would look cute. So, the way I'm gonna do that is I'd have to secure it first with a little bit of glue. So, I'm gonna put a little glue on here. Okay. And I'm just gonna press that on there. It should secure pretty quickly. Let that dry a second. All right. And then on this end, you see the other part of the material. I want to put a little bit of glue. You don't need a lot. The glue guns are pretty uh, strong, so they hold really well. Okay, so I got that on there. Just let it dry a second. And then glue and wrap. Just a little. Don't need chunks of glue on there. You don't want it to be lumpy. All right. Wrap. Glue. Nice and thin. And it's hot, so definitely want to have an adult do this or an older. 
older child. Not really for little, little ones. Um, the little ones you can use craft glue. Probably be better. And now, like I told you, I don't want it to go past that part on the pen. So what I'm going to do when I get done here is I'm just going to trim this a little. Just to make sure that it doesn't go beyond that point. And I can just take this out, pull it on an angle, and cut. Just to make sure it doesn't go past that point. Okay? I'm going to just add a little more glue right on the pen right to the point I want it to be wrap it around and then once that's secure I can glue it here on this end into place teeny bits of glue you don't need big globs all right and we have that secure Okay, so then what I want to do um, is I'm going to add a little ribbon here on the bottom. Okay, so I'm going to put my pen down a second. Let me get these other pens out of the way. Okay, so I'm going to get, just take a piece of ribbon here and cut, snip it off, just any piece. Try to get a long one. Let's find a long one. There's a nice long piece. So it's already curled, so we don't have to do that. And what we want to do is we want to try to find the middle. Okay? So once you find the middle, you're just gonna take it, wrap it around. Move my glue gun out of the way. We don't want any mishaps. And you find the middle and you can just tie it on. If you want to glue it into place, you can do that. I'm just going to give it a little tie. Bring it up as high as possible. Okay, so we have our little glitter. And then I think it would be cute to add a couple of little eyeballs on here. So let's see. Let's get some little eyeballs. Let's, how about some pink ones? That'd be cute. All right, so we can just... These are slippery, so... Okay, there we go. I'm going to try to flip them. Bring it over. Okay, so, okay, so then we can just find where would we want our little eyeballs to be. I think it'd be cute if we had them on the front part here, or on the back part there. You decide. It's your, it's your project. You do whatever you want. So I figure if I'm going to be writing, this is going to be the front. So I'm going to put one eyeball here. Let's get that glue going. So just glue, glue, glue. Grab one of my eyeballs and stick it on there. There's one. And one more. And it doesn't matter what direction they're going. They can be googly, they can be scary, whatever you want to do. There you go. How cute is that? And I have my little oh, witch's hat pen. Isn't that cute? And make a cute little gift. All right. So that's one of the pen ideas. Um, the other one I like idea I like is the spider. I think this spider is awesome. So uh, for this one, this one's pretty simple. All I'm going to do is I'm going to add some glue to the tip of my pen, not the writing side, the other side. So I got a glob of glue there. I'm going to take my spider and I'm just going to stick them on there. Just gonna stick him right on there and hopefully he'll dry quickly. Should be dry or almost dry. Just glue him down, hold him down. And you can add more glue if you want just to make sure he's secure in there. He, she, whatever you wanna call it. Okay. So we got our spider on there. How cute is that? And then I'm just going to take my floral tape. I got my floral tape. And I'm going to just put a little dab of glue just to get it started. You don't need much. Just a little dab. And put the sticky side on. 
Just hold it in place. Let it dry a second, let it cool. And then you just spin, spin, spin. Spin, keep going all the way down. Just covering up the pen. That's all you're doing. And you don't want to go all the way down to the bottom because remember, we want to get the top on the pen. So I'm only going to go halfway down to where that dark spot is on the pen. We want to stop at that dark spot. So I'm going to cut my wall tape there. And I want to secure it. So I'm going to wrap it a couple times and I'm going to glue it. Okay. So now we have the pen covered. We put our little top back on. And oh, let me put my top back on my little. Okay, put my top back on there. Okay, so I mean you can add little eyeballs on here. We can we can use little witches lit. You know whatever you want to do. It's your project. Um, we can do the ribbon again. I always like to use the ribbon. The ribbon has like a little like a myster mystery look to it. So. Makes it more Halloweenish, that iridescence. And you can put as many ribbons on here as you want. If you want to put that whole dollar package of ribbons, go for it. All right, I'm just gonna use a couple. So, all right, so there's your one, and you can double tie it. It's up to you. There's one. I'll put a couple on this one since it's just a spider, and we didn't really use the Halloween material on this one. Like I said, if you have like orange or purple or any material sitting around the house, you don't need a lot of, you really don't need a lot. Just measure it up to the pen. Make sure you leave a spot for the lid to fit on the pen. How cute is this? <laughs> That's it. How cute is that? How fun and cute. Little spider pen. All right. And 